All right, this is Brennan Bordelon uh, from National Review. I'm here with Governor Bush. Governor, thanks for talking to us today. You bet. How are things going? Uh, going well, thank you. Um, looking forward to your speech today. Um, I'm speaking? <laughs> um, in Iowa last weekend, Senator Rubio, uh, during an interview, he said, there's no way that a governor running for president can be ready to manage U.S. foreign policy on day one. Uh, what's your response to that? Well, I have enormous friendship with uh, Marco, but I think being a governor allows you to be able to make decisions. and. Um, as it relates to foreign policy, in my case at least, I've had a chance to travel the world in lots of different ways, and so understanding how the world works is, is not uh, from day one, doesn't have to happen just because you're not in Washington, D.C. Ronald Reagan had a pretty good foreign policy, and he was a pretty good governor. He said something about how you, know, you need to be uh, on the Intelligence Committee, on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, these are things that are going to prepare you. You obviously don't see it that way. No, no I don't. <laughs> um, your brother, uh, in 2000, 2004, he was uh, swept in office largely with the help of conservative, social conservatives, evangelical voters. Um, this time around, that same voting block doesn't seem quite as enthused with your candidacy. Um, is that weird to you? Could you? Um, well, I don't know. I, I'm not a candidate, for starters. Let's your make sure we don't. Candidacy. Let's don't. Let's don't trigger a campaign. Uh, <laughs> although I would be honored. If I was going to do something like that, I'd be associated with the National Review with one of my heart. But, uh, so let's let it play out. You know, I have a strong record as governor, a pro-life governor, um, dealing with the most vulnerable in our society, acting on my faith in an informed way. We did a lot of things as governor, and I believe what I believe, and I get to share it in a way. So. Hold on to your horses here. Man. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be fine. There are social conservative groups, uh, leaders that are uh, actually trying to rally social conservatives behind another candidate, mostly to stop you. Um, Tony Perkins. Uh, do you have anything to say about that? Or? No, he's a good guy. Okay. Were you invited to the Iowa Faith and Freedom Summit last Saturday? I was. Um, did you? Do you have any reason why you weren't able to make it? I was working. Uh, all right. Well, thank you. Take care. Thanks a lot.